week's GTO. Moving on, putting some more stuff together, getting the uh, fuel lines in the car trimmed so we can go in and put our and fittings. All right, here's our feed line we just cut and we're gonna stagger these. But there's our fitting, it's gonna go in there. You saw from last week when we did the sending unit on the tank. So I'm gonna go ahead and install this fitting and I'll show you that. All right, we got our lines cut. We wanted to make sure they were offset. So this is the fuel feed here. And of course we already put our fitting on it that's gonna go on the hose just so we get our, our length right. That's gonna be awesome, look at that. Turned out bitchin'. Wick likes it. Love it. Wick loves it. Wick's also putting the little Jimmy hats. It's okay we call those Jimmy hats, right? Uh, I guess. Prophylactics, bleeder condoms. I actually think a couple of my friends could probably use these as condoms. It's the right size. But we got these from Willwood. So every bleeder on the calipers will be covered. Keep the dirt out, keep the dust out, keep the crap out. And it's a nice little finishing touch. Good job, Wicky Wick. Yeah, and they're super easy to install. Wick, oh. Wick's being sarcastic. <laughs> While he blinds us with the headlight. Sorry about that. I do it all the time, don't I? Yep. <clears throat> I've gotten the uh, Wait, technique mark. down with this little miniature screwdriver. But it sure would have been easier to do this when these things were not on the car. Look at that. Wick in action. I probably just about broke that one, it looks like. Gotta be real careful. I think I'll order some more of these. Have some spares? Yeah, because I'm sure as they get. Boom. Done. And that's all of them, too. It's all of them. I got, I got a couple for the master, too. Nice. But I'm not going to do that from here because that's a really long reach. Oh, come on. You can do it. <laughs> yeah, the hell with that. That doesn't sound fun. All right. Productive. Yeah. It's early-ish, and I feel like we've already gotten a shitload done for being here like an hour. Yeah. All right. I picked these wheels up enough today already. Oh, yeah. Just have to go to the gym <laughs> later. Oh, wait. You can't go to the gym because we live in California, and we're not allowed to do anything. Oh, yeah. We're breaking the law. Breaking the law. Breaking the law. We should play that Judas Priest song later as loud as we can. That'll get the cops here. Anyway, got our lines handled. We're gonna actually build the uh, braided lines next. Time to get ready to assemble our fittings on our hose. We're gonna actually do the in-car side first so we can kind of get some measurements. But Wick picked up this really cool set from Cool Tools which helps hold the uh, the nut of your fitting in the vise so you don't go jacking it up, making it all ugly. Basically, you just put this on here and it secures it. And you stick that in the vise, lube her up, and send her home. It's all about lubing her up before you send her home, right, Wick? True. Because I've said before, if you love her, if you love her, lube her. If you don't, just hammer it in. Okay, got our hose pushed in. I'm gonna put a little lube on the inside here. Gonna start assembly. And we got our hose in. Ooh. Gonna take our fitting here. Slide her on in and tighten her down. There's our assembled end ready to go. So then we will measure and cut for our feed line. This end is going to go 
on the chassis side. So we'll get a measurement, figure out what we got, and make our hose go into the tank. There it is. Done dealio. Lines are built, assembled, mocked up up here in the chassis. Woo, artsy shot. Looking good. Got them staggered perfect. I'm gonna give that a shot when we do our mock up over here for our tank. Woo! Right there. I'm thinking about retrimming this one, actually, bring it back. But we shall see. I think we'll be alright. Alright, got our engine side fuel line set with our fittings. Looking good. We got them offset. And we're assuming we're probably going to be putting 90s on these. But they're still. Just checking with the straights. All the other ones over on the table, but you know, that's obviously gonna be a little long, but we'll put 90s on it, get it routed where we need to go. But those look good. They're not in each other's way, and there's plenty of room. Be perfect though.